Honorable David Kota, Minister for Education of Kenya. Honorable Ministers. Honorable Chair, distinguished guests and participants of protocols of self, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me join us to thank very much the Minister of Education, Sports, Art and Culture of the Republic of Zimbabwe uh, to have uh, invited us in this important conference. Let me address thanks from the Republic of Burundi, the President of the Republic of Burundi, the people of Burundi, to people and government of Zimbabwe for the hospitality I and my delegation have benefited. So I have to present uh, investment in ICT for Education in Burundi. I will insist on the opportunities and challenges. Uh, first of all, I would like to, to say that the will of the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research is to fundamentally improve the use of information, technology, and communication in all institutions of higher education and scientific <coughs> research. Despite the efforts and investment carried out today, it is clear that in one, our institutions are monopoly equipped servers and personal computers. Second, the interconnection between workstations in off is often inexistent. Access to internet is slow and expensive. Students often do not have basic computer literacy. This slows down the introduction of new teaching methods. Qualified IT resources are rare and insufficient. Also, despite the liberalization of this sector, the indicators, parameters that affect this situation in Burundi. One, the number of subscribers is 32,000. The number of mobile subscribers, around 1 million. The number of internet subscribers, 10,000. The number of internet users, 60,000. The number of internet services providers, only six. About the research area, we have little or no specialized structures, only KLD from the Packet of Science, in various educational institutions and all research. Secondly, research are, researchers are con connected by teachers within foreign research teams, and uh, work graduation are made in uh, departments or computer science <coughs> in two or three private universities. In Burundi, we have, uh, in the, the sector of investment in ICT, we have a master plan going to 2012 to 2005. And uh, this uh, program, this computer development of higher education institutions are based on the following objectives. One, development of a common telecommunications infrastructures based on radio and satellites, transmissions, to promote accessibility, connectivity, and maintenance. Data, uh, this development of data and the optical field. Two, networking services and professionals like administrations, like universities, like uh, uh, research centers, teachers, students, etc. The master plan has 
the third objective is development of software to manage the DMD system, uh, which is in the, in the uh, high education system. Four, start progressive management software administration, accounting, finance, personal action, etc. Library management, training, self-study and communication with the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research and other stakeholders. To achieve, to achieve these objectives, the government of Burundi undertakes the following actions. First, to set up a project team of higher level to serve all, to develop an integrated approach that concerns concerns software producers and suppliers to promote development institutions like excellence centers in ICT uh, to provide mechanisms, mechanisms to ensure that the plan has a long-term financing plan and funding for its sustainability. I can add that the government of Burundi has created the Ministry of Education in charge of science, technology, and research, creates a ministry, a ministry in charge of the telecommunications sector, and a regulatory agency in the sector for, of ICT. These policies are because <coughs> the government is convinced that ICTs are nowadays a fundamental tool for, for formation of of training and research in a higher education modern system. It is the best in its perspective, the government has undertaken, among others, the following actions. A national policy in ICT, a project of optical fiber, a plan of computerization in higher education system, a policy for free charges in imported ICT equipment, development of partnership in ICT networking. For example, Burundi has signed a grant agreement with the European Union <coughs> Commission in relation to information science and technology Africa, and uh, with the government of India in the e education and e uh, health with the University of Burundi. As you see, we have uh, ideas and we have uh, some uh, opportunities, but we have many challenges and needs. So we wish that this conference will permit us to have other partners come and uh, help us to promote and make ICT be effective and essential of element <coughs> responding to Africa's socioeconomic development. Thank you for your attention. Merci beaucoup.